I think that it was a challenge for us because mathematics without visuals is very difficult to actually get through, especially to younger people. So just to conceptualize how we are going to do it was the biggest challenge. But how can we make it um, possible to communicate only through words, only through sound? And uh, the first few meetings we really thought about this, that what are the kind of things we can use to um, do this kind of um, experiment practically. So that was the first challenge I think that we all had to take up very seriously. And um, second I think what the experience was that um, it was very difficult because we didn't have very much time to bank programs. So we had to create the script, send it to the expert, get a feedback. Sometimes changes were suggested. Mm -hmm. So then to change it and also have it ready on time um, was a, a big challenge. But I think that what happened was that after the first two or three weeks, the team settled down into a rhythm. And they came up with some wonderful ideas, which uh, I think was very creative. Uh, they all worked together quite well as a team. And uh, the thing was that we started getting a lot of phone calls and responses also, which then obviously made the team more uh, you know, happy about the fact that some, something was uh, actually getting through to the students and there was some kind of communication happening. So that was very positive. It's a subject which needs a lot of sort of abstraction mm -hmm. and for children to be able to understand you do need visual symbols. I mean you need the numbers, you need certain representations. Uh, so I would think that mathematics is the most difficult of the subjects to actually try and communicate through words mm -hmm. alone, uh, not visuals. So if, you know, if it can be done for mathematics, I think any other subject can be done actually. I think that we were already working with the students, but mm -hmm. so far a lot of the work that we were doing was kind of um, outside their syllabus, outside their everyday um, education, mm -hmm. what they were doing. And so I think most of them thought of it as a kind of additional thing that they would use for leisure. Uh, because a lot of these students actually do listen to a lot of the programs that are produced for the children here. Mm -hmm. But I think that by adding this, what happened was that we, we also um, you know, the students also began to realize that it could actually help them in their everyday work and of course the teachers also got involved. So that was a big thing because unless we have the teachers support it's difficult to work with students. So the schools, the administrators, teachers, they got involved. Mm -hmm. uh, that was good and I think in the long run also that will help us.